Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Carlo Oyer. I'm an emergency physician and in this video we're going to talk about May Turner's syndrome. May Turner's is a rare condition in which compression of the common venous outflow tract of the left lower extremity may cause discomfort, swelling, pain, or blood clots called DVT in the iliofemoral vein. This video got prompted by a patient we had in our emergency department that presented with the acute sudden onset of a swollen, painful, and slightly purplish left lower extremity. Immediately I thought of a DVT. Even more so, I thought of something called Phlegmasia cerulea dolens, which is a more massive form of DVT in which the whole leg becomes inflamed and engorged because the venous outflow to the leg is decreased, therefore having that discoloration and swelling. This particular patient had a negative DVT ultrasound, but our suspicion was very high for clot. So after ob obtaining an IV CT scan of the pelvis, proved that not only did this patient had an iliofemoral DVT, but actually has something called May Turner syndrome. I was not aware of this syndrome, so I got to studying, and here's what I come up with. Also called MTS or iliocaval compression syndrome, also named Cockett syndrome and iliac vein compression syndrome. As seen in the picture on the right side, it demonstrates the anatomic compression that you have um, in May Turner's. MTAs is caused when the left iliac vein is compressed by the right iliac artery and as it increases the risk of DVT in the left lower extremity. As said below, uh, before, DVT is a blood clot that may be partially or completely obstruct the blood flow through a vein. This variant has been shown to be present in about 20% of the population, even healthy ones. However, it is rarely considered in the differential diagnosis of DVT, particularly in patients who have other risk factors for blood clots. MTS was faced first described in 1957 when it was noted that 22% of 430 cadavers on autopsy possess an anatomical variant in which an overriding right common iliac artery causes compression of the left common iliac vein against the lumbar spine. Despite the relatively high incidence of this anatomical variant, the clinical prevalence of MTS-related DVT is surprisingly low reportedly occurring in 2-3% of all lower extremity DVTs. DVT is more common in women and 72% of women diagnosed with MTS are relatively young, between 25 and 50 years of age. Additionally, these patients have a history of oral contraceptive use, recent pregnancy, or recent prolonged travel. Accordingly, in a patient with identifiable risk factors, the diagnostic workup is often halted once the diagnosis of DVT is confirmed. Failure to correct the anatomic substrate of MTS could lead to DVT recurrence and additional complications including pulmonary embolization, chronic venostasis, and iliac vein rupture. It is typically recommended that following initial clot lysis, thrombolytic infusion should be continued for additional 24 to 48 hours. You can use TPA or streptokinase as shown in the picture. Following the complete completion of these thrombolytics, an intravascular stent should be deployed in the area of the iliac compression. Following stent placement, systemic long-term anticoagulation is recommended for at least six months. And you can use Coumadin, Seralto, or any other new oral anticoagulant. In the case of my particular patient, she had all this. She had a pelvic um, CT, a venogram that confirmed the diagnosis of May Turner's, after which she underwent thrombolysis through medications, TPA. Uh, clot had resolved, so she was taken to the OR and she had an IVC filter put in, as well as a stent put in in the ileal um, vein. Um, she recovered and she was discharged. She did have risk factors for DVT like surgery. But luckily for us that we did do the CT venogram that we discovered that she had indeed May Turner syndrome. And again, I learned a lot uh, by the case, by the presentation, by the follow-up, and I hope you guys have learned this too. 
Not only that, but think about May Turner's in a female with isolated left lower extremity, deep vein thrombosis, that you don't have any other risk factors, or even if you do have other risk factors, like this lady did, had a recent surgery, to still look for it by doing an IV um, study, CT of the pelvis, to rule that out. Or even MRI, MRA, or things like that. Hey, for other videos like this one, please go to edexitvideo.com uh, and participate by leaving comments, suggestions, contacting me, whatever. See you next video. Bye-bye.